Question number two, write one number from each circle to make this calculation correct. So we've got to pick two numbers from these two circles and times them together. And then we've got to subtract a number from this circle and the overall answer needs to be zero. So if I look at the numbers in the end, I, can I make 30 from these two circles by multiplying two of the numbers? Well, yes, I can. If I choose 5 from this circle and 6 from this circle, then 5 times 6 makes 30. But when I subtract my 30 from this circle, then that will leave me with, z leave me with 0. So 5 multiplied by 6 is 30. Subtract 30 is 0. So that is one possible solution. However, there is also another solution. I could choose 40. And I could have put 40 in that box. So can I make 40 from these two circles multiplying two numbers together? Well, if you knew your times tables, you knew that 5 eighths are 40 or 8 fives are 40. So I could have actually used 5 times 8 is 40. And then subtract 40 would also have given me 0. You might think, well, is, is there any more solutions? Well... The only one I haven't used here is 50, so could I, use, could I have used 50? Is there any two numbers in these two boxes that make 50? Well, actually, it might take you a few seconds to think about it, but I can't see any that multiply together from these two boxes to make 50, so actually, 50 is no use to us. So there are the only two solutions.